If our expression is natural log of x and I want to find its derivative, it's simply 1 over x. So if my function is natural log of x, the first derivative is always 1 over x. It's a little more complicated if I have an expression where that 1x was previously. So here's how I take its derivative. I write down 1 over whatever's in parentheses, the x squared plus 3x. Then I look at what was in the parentheses and I take its first derivative. So the derivative of x squared plus 3x is 2x plus 3. And I take that amount and I multiply it on that inverse expression. I might rearrange this a little and write it as 2x plus 3 divided by x squared plus 3x. Let's try another one. My expression here is natural log of 4x plus 5. So I take my first derivative by writing 1 over 4x plus 5. Then I look inside my parentheses and take its derivative. And the derivative of 4x plus 5 is 4. So that 4 gets multiplied onto my expression. I might rearrange it and write it as 4 divided by 4x plus 5. Here's another one. This one's a little more complicated. So notice that I've got 425y plus 1.2 natural log of y over y plus 2. I can take the derivative of these two terms separately because they're separated by a plus sign. So taking my first derivative, that 425y becomes 425. I'm going to recopy that 1.2 and I multiply it by 1 over whatever was in my natural log expressions parentheses. So in this case I have 1 over y over y plus 2. Now I need to take the expression that was in that parentheses and take its first derivative. In this case that'll mean taking the quotient rule. That says take the derivative of the top expression times the bottom expression minus the derivative of the bottom expression times the top expression all over the bottom squared. Now the numerator of this expression is really y plus 2 minus y. So those y's are going to cancel and I'm just left with 2 divided by y plus 2 quantity squared. So that amount gets multiplied by the rest of the expression I had previously written down. Now this looks kind of ugly, so I'm going to do some simplifying. The first thing I want to get rid of is I don't like this 1 over the y over y plus 2. So really I can flip that bottom fraction up and this becomes y plus 2 over y. Noticing now I've got a y plus 2 in the numerator and a y plus 2 squared in the denominator, one of those can cancel out. The final thing I can do is take this 1.2 and multiply it by 2. So in the end, the first derivative of this expression is 425 plus 2.4 divided by y times y plus 2.